As stocks continue to climb, investors are putting more of their money in cash. This chart looks at how much cash investors have in money market accounts. In the past three years, the total has climbed by $1 trillion to $3.4 trillion. It's the highest level in about a decade. Cash is sometimes viewed as a safe but boring investment. But lately, it's looking a lot shinier than it has in a while. And not just to investors. Analysts say if you park your cash in the right account, it can earn higher returns without taking on more risk, which is kind of the holy grail of investing. We'll explain. When investors talk about cash, they mean funds that you can quickly and easily spend or turn into physical money. It's all about liquidity. Cash accounts let you withdraw funds in a flash if you need to, say, fix your roof or pay a medical expense. There are a few types of cash, including currencies, deposit accounts, and money market funds. Each is a little different. The cashiest type of cash is currency, the stuff from trees. According to the Fed, about 1.8 trillion in U.S. currency circulates through the economy, through banks, businesses, wallets, sock drawers. As an investment, though, there are downsides. There's no return on cash that's stored in a sock drawer, for example. And inflation, even really low inflation, will eat away at the value. It's also kind of risky. If you have a lot of currency, you're probably going to want to buy a safe. Now, there's a lot more money in deposit accounts. Let's look at savings accounts alone. Cash in savings accounts at commercial banks tops $8 trillion, according to the Federal Reserve. Savings picked up around 2009, right after the market crashed and battered investment portfolios. And over the past decade, savings has outpaced GDP growth, even as interest rates dropped. One analyst said that low interest rates actually helped drive up savings accounts. The idea is that people had less incentive to move their money from savings to other investments. The returns on some government bonds, for example, were not much higher than the savings accounts. Right now, the average return on savings accounts under $100,000 is about 0.09%. But if you look around, you can do better. Savings accounts at some online banks will yield you more, some around 2%. Now that return is more aligned with money market funds, which is our next cash investment. Like we said at the beginning, there's a lot more money in money market funds lately. These accounts are not insured by the FDIC like savings accounts are, but they hold high-rated short-term securities that tend to hold steady in value. Also unlike many savings accounts, money market funds often require minimum deposits. They also charge management fees and limit the number of transactions you can make each month. But over the past few years, returns have grown. Here they are since 2009. After years near zero, in 2015, rates on money market funds started rising along with the Fed's interest rate increases. They then dropped a little when the central bank reduced rates a little earlier this year. But returns are still higher than you'll get at your average savings account. Some analysts say that the surge in money market account balances shows that investors are feeling cautious they may have concerns about the broader economy. The trade war with China and just mixed economic data have sparked bouts of volatility in the markets, and that's pushed investors towards safer assets. But others say all the cash on the sidelines indicates good health. It shows investors are not overly excited about stocks and that they'll have money to invest when prices drop. One thing that is clear is that as stocks and bonds keep rising, investors are looking at cash again, seriously for the first time since the financial crisis. You might even say, cash is back.